Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Friday the 16th of March and this is my daily signal setup video. Every day I choose from our signal service just one stock and set it up just to show the members how it is done. As you can see on the home page here, all the videos are there. Also I'm in our members area for our stock signals, they, uh, our members get both long and short trades every day on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. They cl simply click on the image here, download the spreadsheet uh, for, for both long and short and they get that every day. So let's have a look at one of the spreadsheets for today, the 16th of March. So I'm looking at shorts again. Markets are quite um, weak at the moment. We set up a, a good short yesterday on O. hasn't triggered yet, but it's moving towards the entry. And today I've picked GPOR right at the top here on the daily time frame again. So let's have a look at that chart. Okay, so just first of all, this is the Elliott Wave indicator suite from Wave 5 Trade uh, for Ninja Trader, but it's also available for TradeStation. Think or swim and multi charts. So, first of all, for our members, we've got a range bound period here from around about the 13th of November 2017 and still until we start to drop down. This is the daily chart for GPOR, uh, and then we start this big bearish move and then we've pulled back against it. So, to isolate the alley wave count, we need to be at this high in this uh, range bound period here. And then our Elliott Wave Indicator Sweep gives you the 1, the 2, the 3 and the Wave 4. So for the stocks membership, um, for the signals, we have basic filters on there. So our 535 oscillator at the bottom here has pulled back between 90 and 140%. That's one of the filters. The stochastic is in the overbought zone, crossing to come down. And also our Wave 4 has found resistance at the top end of our amber zone. Now this is an 80% probability zone. Uh, if it found resistance here, the wave four, the fifth wave will go on and make a new wave five low into our blue automated target zones down here, nearly at $7 there. So let's have a look at the setup for this. Very, very simple. The, uh, the wave count uh, has, has been given. We've had the wave four pullback. It's found good resistance, started to move down yesterday. Today is Friday as well, so we've just got to be a little bit cautious. So what I've done is we've broken and closed below the 6-4 moving average low. That is usually our entry. Now, today's Friday. I've also got a little bit of consolidation and support zone down here around about 967. So I want to be below that as a conservative entry. So I've put my stop loss above the wave 4 high here. At about 1097, 1098, to be honest, there's a great risk reward there. You could have it just over $11, it wouldn't make too much difference. Um, the entry is quite tight, it's at 965, a couple of cents below this low here. But that entry at 965 and the stop loss here around about $11 still gives us a great risk reward of one to two into our automated target zone. So let's go over it very, very simply again. Our Elliott Wave uh, count has been given uh, the, from the Stock Signals membership. We've been given this potential short on GPOR on the daily time frame. This Wave 4 pullback has found resistance in our amber zone. This amber zone is an 80% probability that it's going to go on and make a new low in our automated target zones down in the blue. Very, very simple. Um, now all we need to do is look for a simple entry and I've just discussed that there. So the entry is at 965 to go low, uh, to go short, sorry, and uh, we've got the stop loss around about $11, just over $11 if you want to, because we've got a great risk reward there. It may not trigger today, but if the markets are strong and bearish, we could see that trigger in today. Also, the trade that we discussed yes in yesterday's video, on the stock ticker O on the daily, another short again, did pull back into the red zone. Uh, and then yesterday we had quite a decent candle move down. Again, this is um, a conservative entry. We're going to be outside of the 6-4 moving average low for this one uh, at 49.72, but it's going in the right direction, most likely trigger next week. So as you can see, we're building up that uh, funnel, if you like, 
of, of potential short trades should the markets turn uh, south quite quickly. So that's it for today and this week. Have a great trading day and a, and a great weekend. And I'll speak to you all on Monday.